Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another nail studio vlog on my channel. We have some exciting things that we are going to be doing in this video. We are going to do a nail art unboxing as well as some nail studio kind of tidying up and I'll show you some different organization things. So uh, you're first catching me here just kind of resetting my desk so that I can film this video and a bunch of different content that I had. So it looks a little different now than it will at the end of the video because we're also going to reorganize then. Uh, and then I'm also just catching up on some editing here for a recent video that just went up so if you guys haven't seen this video definitely be sure to go and check it out uh, there's a whole bunch of really cool nail art sets and some great ideas in it I also recently got my nails done in this video I had uh, some really pretty like rainbowy type of nails just arrived from DK Beauty with some new releases and some different items in it so I thought we'd go through it First up we have two new stamping plates. I'm so excited for Halloween nail art and like these cute little boos are so in this year. Like easily watercolor this plate too. That is a fun plate. And then they came out with another neon stamping plate. Um, Clear Jelly Stamper did. But this is Halloween themed. And I think this is just so fun. I love the different layers with it. I love this. I opened this package and I saw this and I had like the biggest smile on my face. Okay, they got in most popular sizes for the most popular shapes of press-on nails that I do for my clients. I hope that made sense. Okay, and then we have a whole bunch of gel polishes. And I am so pumped about these. I did, I did open these up as well, but we're gonna go through them together love the fusion top coats just love them so so much and they came out with this like purpley type of one it's like a purple silver type of look to it it's a shiny top coat as well so i'm really looking forward to playing around with that and then we have some of the light and shadow gel polish colors i'm so happy that they brought these in these are gonna be so good for nail art this is like a rosy pink but the application of these is really, really good, especially for press-ons. You're not going to have to do a whole bunch of coats with them because they go on like pretty decently pigmented for see-through colors. Okay, this is 706 Returning Horizons. And this is, oh, this is pretty. It's like a taupey. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to describe that. It's like a taupey see-through color. A beautiful like light pink. Oh yeah, I'm going to get lots of use of that one. This is a light neutral caramel type of shade chasing pavement this is oh yes that is a beautiful gray oh i'm pumped about this you can do some really cool marble looks with like a see-through gray color for halloween nail art if you were going to pick up like one lighter shade this would be the one that i'd recommend um like a nice light blue and this is what i mean by it being like a little bit more pigmented this blue for sure was it you like i applied it and it was nice and milky color in in one coat and then two, it built it up to be nice and concentrated, but this is great for like cloud nail art, which I personally do all the time. So I'm very much looking forward to using this one too. And these are the light and shadow. Again, I just did one coat and they are pretty concentrated with one coat for it being like a see-through gel polish. But uh, the nice thing about this is I could do them a little bit thinner and they would be a little bit more sheared out. Um, and give more of that milky look or I could do them more concentrated and they would look milky but be pigmented so I really really like these so far and this is a great variety of like your basic shades to get you started with these type of gels or jewel oh my gosh I'm so excited about this I love glass gels and I've been wanting to play around with the um opera ones okay let's open these ones up under the Tuscan, Tuscan sun Oh, I'm so excited. There's so much you can do with glass gels. This is a beautiful like ambery type of color. I'm picturing sunflowers with this one. And orange. Orange works so good for tortoise print type of nails. I like this caramel one I think is a brown one. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so good for tortoise nails. Cedar stain. Oh yes. That's an interesting brown color. That's This is a really nice rich dark blue. Perfect for fall. Yes. Oh, look at how pretty that is. That is going to be excellent for ocean y type of nails. The green. I'm picturing like jade stone nails with that one. And it's like a darker, like reddish type of orange. Tropic light. Ooh, that's so pretty. I have nothing like this one. Oh, I'm so excited for this which is um, like a teal turquoise -y type of gel. Okay, so I'm gonna do some swatches up so you guys can see like what these all look like. These are the glass gels. 
little swatched out. This is just one coat as well because I just wanted to see like how sheer they are. And this like ambery type of one is so neat. This amber shade, but um, two of those turquoise colors are very, very similar. Yeah, just a great variety of gloss gels. I cannot wait to play with these. And we have one other collection to talk about. This is a new release from the gel bottle and it is their fall release. I have four colors to share with you guys here. Uh, first up is really pretty red color and it has like a cat eye effect to it as well. So it definitely looks really cool and you can layer it in different ways and use your magnets a little bit um, in different ways as well. This color is a great color for fall time, but I also think it's gonna be a good transition for winter too. Then we also have this really pretty green color I think this is a color that I think you would get use out of quite a bit not just for like fall or winter uh, greens um, it's a really nice green and then when you use the cat eye on it I like doing like one layer down of cat eye and then I go in and do the other layer here and that's where I pull it uh, that way you can see the green underneath it or the color that's underneath it it looks gives it like a really cool effect um, there's this really pretty like coffee color brownish type of color I actually thought it leaned a little bit more purple until I swatched it and it is definitely more on the brown side and then this gold color is really unique I just think this is such a fun color I think it's gonna be excellent for Christmas time uh, this is not a magnetic one I did try a couple of times so you'll notice that this month's DK Beauty box is quite a bit bigger there's a lot more products in it it's actually going to encompass uh, two months worth of products so all of the products that you're seeing in this video is what is going to be in upcoming nail art tutorials and the videos that we have planned throughout the month I'm very much looking forward to designing some more nail art with these products here. I have started using some of them and they are so fun. I can't wait to talk more about them with you guys. But uh, for the rest of the vlog here, we're just going to do a little bit of reorganizing in the nail studio. Uh, this summer was just such like a rush with me trying to fit in like different filming products and things that I could get done for work um, in between all the other family things that we were doing and my kids being home for the summer. So uh, now that they're back to school, I was able to give my nail studio like a really good tidy and reorganization. Um, you guys saw at one point that I had moved my desk over to like a little bit like more accessible into my nail studio so that I can work on my mom's nails every once in a while. Uh, so she's actually started going to see the nail tech that I go to in town here to get the base done and then I'm able to do the art on top of it. So I need her to have like a comfortable spot to come and sit when that happens. Um, and the right side of my computer or my desk housed a computer for a little while too. So anyway, I've got all this extra space on the right side and I really like having like my everyday products right on my right hand because I am right handed. Uh, so this left side of my desk here, this is is where I want to keep like my press-ons as well as like the nail art that I use all of the time um, and a lot of the crystal organizers that you guys are seeing I have thrifted or I've gotten them from garage sales um, I have found some really cool pieces that I use in the nail studio as decor and I think it looks really cool so we're just gonna organize the rest of my desk here I was hoping that you guys would be able to comment below with some maybe nail art techniques or some products that you want to see more closely done in nail tutorials uh, because I have filmed some videos using some of these products and I've been playing around with them but I do have some more that I want to film. I've got some press on orders uh, for our clients for fall and I would love some suggestions from you guys if there's something that you are wanting to see. A uh, complete side note to that topic though but this little organizer that you guys are seeing I got from Michaels and I originally got it to put some of my smaller plates into but I've actually been putting it on my nail desk here and it's kind of like my organizer for different products that I'm using on my press on orders or in like content that I'm creating and it is working fantastic like as you can see the stamping plates like fit on an angle which is more than enough for me for how I need to use it so it turned out really really neat I'm really happy with it um, I also completely reorganized my uh, stamping cart here I separated the different brands a little bit more so that I could find them a little bit easier in the stamping cart and if you guys want an updated tour on this that would something that would be really fun to film as well um, and then I do have another one of these carts sitting right beside this is a Hudson cart as well the, the big long ones for Michaels um, and this is like my everyday supplies cart um, I've got tons of nail decals because I've been reaching for them a lot lately and then I also have all of like my everyday products that I use on my press on nails as well as content creation and then I do have my operates tips in the bottom of the cart as well. Thank 
you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and gave you some idea of some different products that are available at DK for Beauty right now. Uh, they have some really cool new stuff and they're constantly bringing stuff in. So there's always things that are on my want list. But comment below. Let me know what kind of nail art you guys want to see upcoming for the seasons here. Uh, make sure you're following me on all my social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!